Greetings in the name of the Lord, Yahshua HaMashiach. This is a prophetic word, king of immorality, a chosen king. This word was given on October the 14th, 2015. 1 Samuel chapter 8, verses 4 through 19, only a portion will be read. Then all the elders of the Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramon and said to him, Look, you are old, and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, He, the voices, voice of the people, in all that they say you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I shall not reign over them, according to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them out of Egypt, even to this day with which they have forsaken me and served other gods, so they are doing to you also. Now therefore he that voice, however, you shall Solomon forewarn them and show them the behavior of the king who will reign over them. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, but we will have a king over us. The prophetic word reads, You chose a king of immorality. You hated my rules, my laws of living free and humility. You hated me in your hearts. You gave yourself over to temptation of the flesh, which you had led you down a road of destruction. Have I not been with you from the beginning, since birth? Do you not know who gave you birth? I did, America. I did. You have turned your back against me, insulting me with your filth of immorality. I gave you over to a reprobate mind, since you did not receive my warnings, my judgment calls. Have you not listened to my cries? Have I not weeped for, your, for you, knowing your destruction is near? My prophets presented the truth. Beg you to turn from your wicked ways. Did you turn? No, but fell deeper and deeper in the pit of sin. I have wrote. Letters commanding you to turn, not to give in to the devil's temptation. You ran into his arm, not knowing he is your antichrist. He will slaughter you one by one because his hatred for me. He will divide my land at all costs to defile me. Whoever defile my land, I will defile their land. Your righteousness are dirty rags. I will split America in the middle. No longer will it be called the land of the free, but the land of abomination. You are the land of Babylon, who has risen from the dead. And I have blessed you well of many things. Now you are cursed with a curse. Repentance would have been the way out. But now you have tested me, and my judgment is sent in waves. I will bring forth my true church, full of fire and holiness. I have said before, what is not rooted in me will not remain. You seek another from the world, and he will destroy you and your children. You have asked for my judgment. You foolish people, you know not what you do. You didn't repent, and you drunk the cup of judgment. Soon, I will split America from the top on down. You serve me not. I know you not, you nation of abomination. I am that I am. No other has that power but me. During my prayer time, I heard a storm in the gulf is brewing. A shaking in the earth of America is coming. Beware.
the Lord is standing in the doorway offering salvation to whoever who seeks his face, whoever wants to be free from the chains and the bondage of this world. He has nailed everything on the cross so that you may be free in him. He has taken everything on his shoulders so that we may enter into his rest forever. For the word said, whoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you believe this, only thing you have to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and that the Father raised him from the dead and that he is sitting at the right hand of the Father right now as I speak. And you shall be saved if you believe this. Just call upon his name and he shall answer you. He is a merciful father, a merciful Elaniah. He is our Prince of Peace. Shalom.